Oh, it's just a fox. Okay. What's up YouTube and this video we're going fox hunting for the first time. Let's just get straight into this. Fellas, to tell this story correctly, of course, we're going back to the beginning of the story. So, we were coyote hunting about a few days ago after, let's just say, three hours of calling coyotes and... of nothing besides geese flying around. Damn bastards. It's not even goose season. I came and hum now. Bastards. We got done with our hunt and all of a sudden I see tracks on the ground. So I just do a little rabbit call and... Oh, it's just a fox. Okay. Where are you? Just like foxes. I don't shoot you, buddy. I don't shoot you. I'm after coyotes. Those are two gorgeous red foxes, but <sighs> don't know how to eat them. And I don't want to waste them until I figure out how to eat them or have a plan how to eat them. I won't shoot those. They're too pretty and nice to just shoot. And I don't want to shoot something just for the sake of it. I, I want to eat it, so I let those foxes roll. Two heifer foxes come out now. I didn't have a plan for these heifers, so I let them walk, which was obviously a mistake, because I did a little bit of research on the reliable Google and found us a recipe to go and eat these heifers. And we did a little more research on how to lure in these heifers. So without no further ado, it is time to track down these heifer foxes and get some in the pan. Foxes and coyotes. We passed up two foxes yesterday, because I didn't really have a plan if I shot one how to prepare and eat it, you know? But after a little bit of research, I found a little recipe which would hopefully work. So, we're only after some, hopefully, heifer coyotes and some foxes. But besides that, I'll catch y'all when we find some of these heifers. Day two is now around a success. Not a success at all. We did not see a thing. About three hours of just bl blurring out the calls led to nothing. And our strategy for that day was pretty simple. It was find some sets of tracks and try and hunt down these fellas as hard as we can. But here's the problem. I think last time was just, I think, pure luck. We just stumbled upon those two heifer foxes. But now, I think they've smartened up and I think they can hear us coming. I know. Shocking. Hopefully conditions will improve tomorrow on day three. Besides that, it is time to get back into this. Okay boys, it is now day three and we've come across a new strategy. We're gonna wait until it gets darker to start calling or let nature take its course and of course have them just appear. But besides that, we're just gonna wait and uh, see what happens. And of course, the geese are right behind me about 500 of them which of course we can't hunt anymore but besides that it's just now a waiting game but besides that hopefully you'll come back to some action <laughs>
yikes. Okay, boys. Shockingly, we missed, we shot under her. Now, after further investigation, and I walked over here a few moments ago, the fella ran into this. Followed his tracks, ran over here, and went across the creek over yonder. We definitely shot under him. One, there's no blood, and two, I found the crater of where the mist is, so. Nice, first time fox hunting and we miss one. And that's always lovely. But besides that, I think we're gonna get out of here before we're stuck out here in the dark without a light of any kind. But besides that, this is sadly the end of this hunt. <sighs> yeah, fellas, we uh, missed our chance. Yeah, fox. Now, this heifer came from the creek. Not, he wasn't tiring the bushes, but he was in that thick garbage, of course. So I don't know if you boys can see him, but we shot right under him and he ran back where he came from. He went back straight over the creek, over the ice to God knows where, but he is gone and we missed our shot. And sadly, this is becoming a kind of a painful journey for this uh, coyote fox hunting adventures. First time we went, we missed our chance because we were peeking our heads over like a dummy. Second time, my buddy sadly missed. And the third time, I missed. So. Hopefully fourth time's a charm. And if it's not, then we got ourselves a bit of a problem. But besides that, this is sadly the end of the hunt. Thanks for watching. If you guys want to see your last coyote hunt, video down here. And of course, if you guys want to see your first time ever coyote hunting, video down here. But besides that, I'll see y'all next video. See ya.